Uh, hi everyone, uh, this is a series, one of the videos in the series for uh, tips for ITJ preparation and the topic of this video is prioritizing what to study. Uh, so in other videos we have covered topics like stress management, uh, I mean being relaxed and stress free uh, and how to divide your time while you are uh, uh, preparing for JE or being seeing the big picture goals of staying relaxed and uh, realizing that ITJ is not a big deal. However, uh, one thing which I feel is also very, very important is within your study time, what to study. Uh, and from what my experience has been while teaching uh, students and also my own experience and my f the experience of my friends is that a lot of students just get trapped in so much books. So many books are out there. People buy like 30 books of per, per subject, so they will probably have 30, 40 books per subject, so they will probably have 100 books or maybe if not 150 books in total and then they will want to read all of them and then there is a finite time and then they get lost in this sort of crazy amount of books and content they, uh, they have. So the idea in this video is to sort of make you step back and realize that what is really important for you to study uh, and to really be focused only on the, on the uh, right things to study. So one of the things that which I personally always like to say a, 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 a quote that I had heard while my during my JE preparation and that was that hard work is a vector quantity and I really like that quote because it is, I mean it's a little geeky but the idea is to say that it is really important to work hard and to put efforts in the right direction. If you work really hard and if you try to just mess up, like if you are not progressing towards one goal then all the hard work is actually not that effective. So the idea that I want to discuss is really what to study, how to prioritize, what, how many books to study for instance as a very crude example. So let me just start by first writing that uh, what not to study is really more important than what to study. Because of so many books I feel uh, people just want to read everything they want. So just focus on what not to study. So what do, what do I mean, what do I mean by that, that what you should not do, what are the practices that you should not be having, do not have too many books, just have one textbook or maybe at max two, not more than that, not too many books, do not buy like 30 books per, per, sub, per uh, uh, subject. For instance, I know that there are special books for organic chemistry, special book for inorganic chemistry, special book for physical chemistry, then there are special book for calculus, special, no, you do not have to do that. I mean, uh, whatever board you are in, state board, central board, I am sure you have one textbook uh, and you should have one textbook that is more than enough for you to have that. So avoid too many books, you should not be trying to read too many books and you will get lost if every book has a style of writing, style of explaining concepts. If you have so many books and so many options, you will get lost in so many concepts. And that is why it is really important for you to just focus on one book or one textbook. If you are really motivated student and if you really feel that one textbook is not enough, then you can have at max one supplementary book, textbook. Okay, please do not try to do too many things, that will just not work, that will just not work. Okay. Uh, then something which I actually came across which I think was sort of almost something which I never thought during my JE preparation but apparently is a common understanding is to do advanced books like advanced physics problems which are probably not even relevant for JE which even go to like uh, undergraduate college level books uh, and there are books in physics. Uh, which people really like to do uh, in organic chemistry that people purchase very expensive books of sometimes if not expensive very advanced books uh, which are not meant for like JE preparation. JE preparation is not about knowing the really complicated concepts, it is just really being about learning topics whatever are is in your syllabus probably a little more advanced than that but not really super advanced books which uh, are not really rel relative uh, relevant for JE preparation. For instance, I mean just as an example, uh, I.E. Irudov book for physics, I, I have heard it is a very, very popular book, almost everyone purchases it, but maybe it has some few questions which could be good for JE preparation, but of course you should not be trying to solve the entire book because it is not meant for JE preparation, it is not a book for JE preparation. 
there might be students who are very willing who are really bright who want to do that let them do that you should not be trying to uh, do like solving these advanced book just have one textbook add one extra supplementary book uh, which probably has problems and like is good for practice okay so not have too many books is really important i think it will really mess up your concepts if you have so many uh, options to read from okay now uh, let us say you have one book only you are focusing on only on one book uh, that is so you don't have a lot of information in that sense but now what to do if you have one book how to divide your time uh, how to uh, divide time so that you you are on the right track so one thing which i want to uh, uh, emphasize here is being honest about strengths and weaknesses so uh something also which i have realized a, uh, a lot of students really like physics for instance physics kinematics forces people love that topic because it's really relatable it's something about physics uh and so what they will do is because they are enjoying the topic so much they will actually just spend com entire time just solving the problems again and again just learning re really just spending so much time more than that is required because they are enjoying the topic so i really support enjoying a topic which is completely fine but you should have to be honest about strength and weaknesses you sh shouldn't be dishonest about them and j j j is about recognizing weaknesses and focusing on strengths they they are both important if you just completely ignore your weaknesses that is not going to help you let us say if you are very strong in physics but if you are so weak in maths and chemistry that all you really want to do is just learn physics then that is not something that will that is a balanced way of preparation of je uh, so what i would really suggest is that being honest about it so for instance if you are have divided the time spend some time on your weaknesses also i mean until and unless you have totally given up on the chapter please don't leave it for instance just saying boring topics i mean boring topics relatively boring topics for what topic could be boring for you maybe you find maths boring maybe you find chemistry boring but sometimes the topics are really easy and even if you just spend some time on them you can actually grasp them personally i was never a big fan of chemistry actually and my je je score in chemistry was pretty good because though it was not very exciting for me whenever i used to read it i could still solve the problems that was just my personal preference some people find maths boring or physics boring or or chemistry boring so depending on what you find boring that doesn't mean that you cannot i do not have to read it so if you do not find it boring and if it is a probably a weak point uh, if it you find it boring and if it's a weak point please some spend some time on it don't be dishonest with you it is important to prioritize topics one by one not just doing not just keep on doing the things you are strong about i i really believe that this is important uh, and sometimes there are free marks that come in je very easy questions people just leave the topics out they just do not spend time because they are so involved in just doing the problems they really really like to do okay uh so do definitely avoid boring topic uh, de definitely do boring topics also even if you find them boring it's completely fine natural everybody is a human you cannot like everything in je you have to find some topics boring but you should spend some time on that also so okay so when you are prioritizing your chapters of what to read what not to read do not leave these topics out just because you do find them boring and you don't like them okay then uh something about priority of current topics versus old topics uh and uh, i think this is sort of a very common dilemma that j students face is that okay what should we do now i am you are very pumped up to study you are really motivated to study but then when you look at the chapters you realize oh i have left so many things behind now i have so much to catch on what to do what should i read old topics should i read current topics uh, if i if i read old topics then i will miss on current topics and then current topics will become uh, uh, will be in the pile of things you have left out so my golden rule for all this you is to focus on current topics always spend most time in current topics and if you look at the time management video we like i gave a number of 80% that's just a thumb rule but always focus on current topics i understand that there are chapters a lot of chapters 
where you need to know some concepts of old topics and if you are not strong in them then it will be a little harder for you to do them but always 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 focus on current topics and it is important for you to realize this because if you not if you do not make this a habit if you just keep on trying to catch up you will always be catching up if you have left out some topic let it be let it be for instance i left out in organic chemistry almost all the chapters i never actually read them but i f f i did not stop reading the current chapters just because i was not you know, doing in organic chemistry so it is important for I, I personally i feel it is important for you to focus on current topics so please uh, do not just uh, stop reading about current topics if you have to prioritize always focus on current topics spend 80% of time on current topics and then 20% of time on the revision or older topics that you can always find out okay uh then uh so let us say you now we have talked about what not to study and in what to study you have some books and some textbooks in there you are you are we are saying that when you are if you have limited amount of studies in there also do not leave out boring topics and then if you have something lagging behind then you should focus on uh, the current topics and uh, not the old topics a few other things uh, that probably uh, people want to prioritize uh, and something i think might be important uh, is uh, problem solving versus uh, theory so i think this is also a common question that students have that sometimes students just spend way too much time in problem solving or sometimes they spend way too much time in theory so for instance let us say a chapter of uh, uh, dc circuits or in physics and let, let us say if you just spend so much time in theory that you do not do any problem solving and if you spend so much time in uh, problem solving that you have actually not even understood theory so how to divide that time uh, i personally am a am i always say that of course this should lead to problem solving but i personally believe that you should have a little more focus on problem solving because of the nature of the exam being objective uh, you should have a little more focus i am not saying theory is not important it is definitely important however learn theory as a tool to solve problems enjoy theory enjoy the concepts have an understanding but that is also sort of an emphasis in our videos when we make them when we are trying to teach students to learn about je the idea is to really help them solve problems which sim similar problems which come in je so i personally think that if you spend too much time just not even trying to get a feel of the right kind of problems that is also sort of not of a very uh, smart way of reading so do theory have your have definitely read textbooks but do not spend so much time that you are actually not even solving problems so definitely solve problems it should be a priority but it shouldn't be the only priority but it should definitely be a priority because that is actually what you are going to be tested on okay and finally thing which i want to at the end sort of suggest uh, it's not more like a, what is what you should priority to study but more like sort of a, a, a suggestion and that is smart work versus hard work and it is important for you to realize that a lot of students work hard but they do not prioritize and they just keep on slogging keep on slogging i have had friends like uh, juniors who have i have heard they just do, do not sleep and they just keep on trying to work hard and so hard but they don't go anywhere and the reason is because they just completely lack direction it is important to work hard but it is more important to work smart to really realize your strengths your weaknesses you have to focus uh, you have to read the right things it is just not about reading it is about reading the right things so it's more of a thought that you should aim to be a person who works smart uh, and please do not um, um, do not take it in the wrong way i'm not saying you shouldn't work hard Th that is prerequisite but the idea is to put all your energy and motivation in the right direction so just to summarize we said not avoid too many books too many books are not good for you textbooks whatever textbooks you have plus some one supplementary book for problem solving and other things at max be honest about your strengths and weaknesses do not leave out your weaknesses like boring topics uh, focus on current topics always do not keep on pile so that you do not have a pile which is always increasing in terms of uh, chapters you haven't done very well focus on problem solving do not miss out on theory but also focus on problem solving okay so i hope this video was useful sort of gave you a sense of how you should prepare for je and how you should prioritize what to study 
there are other videos a lot of videos on tips uh, and i hope that you will be check out them you will check out them and uh, they will be useful for you thank you